Hey everyone, it's Jill Castle, childhood nutrition expert and blogger, podcaster, owner of the Nourished Child Facebook page. Hope you're with me today. Um, I decided to go live. It's Monday. I'm in my office. It's a good time. It's a good break. A little bit of a crazy story. Um, I was on vacation last week and uh, it was very much needed. I've been working very hard the last couple of months and my husband had some time off so we decided to get away. And um, it was really fun and I was computer free for a few days. And you know how vacations are. You have these down times so you hop on the computer and see what's happening or if there's any extra work you can do. Squeeze in a little blog post here and there or some social media and so I did that. I was answering a few emails and buttoned up my computer and the next morning I got up and it was completely and totally dead. Like completely dead, like no sign of life, no responsiveness. And of course I completely freaked out because I had just been working on a new ebook and almost having finished it on the airplane. And I am entering into the next eight weeks of traveling all over the country speaking. So all my PowerPoint slides were on the computer and not even to mention that, Today, Monday, I knew I had a full roster of clients and I didn't know who was coming. I didn't know when they were coming. It was very, very disconcerting and uh, needless to say, to say, stressful. So I'm back. I don't have my computer. All I have is my little daily business journal that I hadn't written anything in because I was going to update it when I got home from vacation. So that's a little bit of my life. Today has been a really fun day though because my clients have just, you know, arrived and it's it's been really kind of fun to see who's showing up because I had no idea. So that's been kind of a fun thing today. But anyways, I wanted to get on and talk to you today about three tips for helping the underweight child grow. And I recently did a podcast on this, so I will include the link, but I just wanted to give you three highlights um, on the podcast. I actually cover seven different ways you can help the underweight child grow, but today for this, I will um, just give you three. Number one um, is to set up a structure with feeding. And so when I talk about structure, I'm talking about a regular time and place uh, for meals and for snacks. So that might be breakfast at eight in the morning, lunch at noon, dinner at six, with some snacks um, interspersed in between. Basically, you want to have a structure that you use for feeding children who might be underweight. Number one, it really helps build space in between meals and snacks, so there's actually time for them to develop and appetite. One of the things I see happening with families, particularly of children who might be underweight, is that they are in this mode of constantly feeding, constantly offering food to eat, and the child oftentimes doesn't have a chance to get hungry, doesn't have a chance to build up their appetite, and may even become disinterested in food because it's pushed so much. So that's my number one tip set up a structure with meals and snacks and really try to stick with it. The second tip, which is probably one that's a little bit more obvious, is to try to build in extra calories for your child wherever you can. So if you're making oatmeal in the morning, for example, and you might be making it with water, don't make it with water. Build in more calories by making it with milk. Um, or a soy milk or another type of, of milk to build in more calories than you would have if you just made it with water. If you have, um, if you're making a smoothie for example, you can add oils, you can add avocado, you can add nut butters. Um, these are all great sources to bump up the calories within uh, the smoothie that you might be making for your child. 
if you are using products that might be lower in fat, 1% or 2% dairy products, for example, go up to full fat. You'll get a few extra calories. When it comes to children who are underweight, every calorie counts. And that's my tip number three, is to shift your mindset a little bit. And when you're feeding the underweight child, you want to be looking for opportunities to build in calories, to build in routine, and to make sure that every bite is contributing nutrition, not only just calories, but nutrients as well. Because a lot of times kids who are underweight, uh, a lot of times they also have uh, gaps in their diet related to the nutrients that they're eating. So it's not just about packing on more calories, it's packing on more calories or packing in more calories, but also more nutrients so you're, you're better nourishing that child. So those are my three tips for you today. Build in structure, add in extra calories where you can and shift your mindset to make sure that you're always uh, thinking about making every calorie count. You can find more tips about feeding the underweight child over on my podcast, The Nourished Child, and that is episode number 27. I'll include uh, the link to the show in the comments. Otherwise, hope you all are having a great start to the week, and we will see you soon. Bye now.